every single gift was super tailored and super made for me. Hello my lovelies and welcome to my 30s. I cannot believe that I'm 30 and I cannot believe I'm saying that like it's just so crazy. We're still in Belgrade where I had the most incredible birthday party, well birthday weekend. Had a lot of international friends over who I took around Belgrade to show them what we have to offer. We went to kind of modern places and traditional places and then we had this big huge party. I'll insert some videos or some pictures unless you've seen them already on my Instagram because I posted about a thousand. <laughs> something you have highly requested and it is about my birthday presents. Now I told all my friends that their presents at my birthday is more than a gift because I have so much and I'm so grateful for everything that I have but celebrating it with them and seeing now all of their smiles in the pictures is something priceless and something I will have forever. That being said they completely disregarded that and still decided to get me gifts, but I feel that their gifts are the most meaningful, beautiful things that they could get me. Like, they really paid attention, they really listened, and I wanted to show you what I got. So, I'm not gonna say what I got from whom because I think that's a little bit awkward. It's quite intimate for me to say who gave me what, unless I really have to because it makes sense for the story. But, gift that made me cry. It says, our dear Tamara, what a special day today, huh? Our princess is turning 30 and we feel so emotional right now while writing this letter. Honestly talking, we're so proud of you and the woman you became. You're one of our everyday inspiration and we are very thankful to have had the chance to get to meet you, to have you in our lives. You're such a bright light. Besides that, you're a real friend, a beautiful girl inside and outside with a golden soul. A lovely person who never turns back if any of the people you care need your help or if someone, whoever they will be, needs your support. For this reason, these people decided to invest in a very special cause. For your 30th birthday, we had donated under your name one year of full alimentation to Kobu and Ayo. Kobu is a little boy of three years old living in Congo, and Ayo is a baby boy of three months old from Palestine. Thank you, our love, to have donated a smile to those little boys and for making sure that those two children won't miss anything during this year. They will be grateful forever and us together with them. Thank you for inspiring us every day and to be a light in this world. Happy birthday, we love you so much. Honestly, like, you know, a um, three-month-old baby is kind of same age as my nephew, um, my younger one, and the three-year-old one is quite similar age to my other nephew, which made me very emotional thinking that these children in poor conditions will get one year alimentation, and for that I'm so, so, so grateful. Like, I think it's a really, really thoughtful gift, so I'm very grateful. I wanted to tell you, I received so many cards from like friends, from their children, who I love so much. Like I have so many beautiful ones that I... There's like a huge bunch, wait. Look, like a lot of cards. I received a very, very beautiful book, which is called The Story of Art. I don't know how I'm gonna travel with this, probably gonna be in my hand luggage. If you guys know me, you know how much I love art and how like, I don't know, like, well, everyone in my family really respects art. This is just so stunning. Wow, like so many of my favorite paintings. And um, my parents are art collectors. They always have been art collectors. So I follow art since forever. And it's the book by E.H. Gombrich called The Story of Art. So very, very exciting and very beautiful. Very grateful for this gift. From my friend Ariana Cassidy, I received... Um, this box because uh, we got we bonded over my love for the blade heels. These are the tiniest blade shoes I have ever seen in my life. I love this so much. Last year was six years anniversary of Casa Day, and um, for that reason they created this special box. Then I got the most incredible card, in which she's inviting me to come to her hometown to discover where the shoes are made and the whole process because. Um, it's something I'm very, very passionate about, so I'm very happy for that. For my birthday, I have so many memories, like, I couldn't even tell you. So I'm very grateful that I received the best present for that. I received... 
receive these blue marine home frames in three different sizes which will be so perfect for my new chest of drawers. I'll show you the middle size one. When you open the box it's so beautifully packed and inside. I cannot wait to like, oh, we have like a billion pictures, I'll insert some now. <laughs> very very happy to actually like have beautiful frames to put them in this goes so well as well with my home interior love these and also three sizes so I can have like a group shot a cake shot atmosphere shot I think that will just be beautiful to always remind me of this special day also received a stunning Balmain hair uh, hair pin so it's like a golden pin with the black leather which says Palma. I think it's so fabulous. I could wear it actually today because my hair is horrible. I really need to go to my hairdresser to fix it after the crazy, crazy celebrations. Now, something that I'm kind of shy to show because it's a very, very particular gift. How do I put this without being a little bit shy? It was very thoughtful gift because it's from someone that really, really paid attention to what I was saying and that's not easy because I say a lot of stuff. I don't know if you guys remember but in one of my videos I said how much I wanted to try the Louis Vuitton fragrances and I received my favorite one which I so regretted not buying which is the Rose de Vence. I think that's how it's pronounced. Probably not. I don't know. Oh this is upside down. But it also has my initials on it. I sprayed it on today and I'm gonna spray it more because I love it. It smells very fresh, very rosy beautiful it's just like you know paying attention to the things that I say in my videos is very hard I also received a beautiful um, silk um, what's it called like a pillowcase because actually now I started sleeping on silk pillowcases since recently and a silk scrunchie like this is ultimate luxury way of sleeping I don't think there's anything it doesn't get better than this and this is just when I opened it, I just got so excited and I found it so, so, so precious. No one gave me something that's completely random or like, let me just buy you a gift that you don't even care about. Like, every single gift was super tailored and super made for me. I'm gonna have to tell you who this one is from because otherwise it's gonna be very obvious. So, when Christina and I met, she told me how much she hates hats. And I told her, you're crazy, I love hats. Hats are everything. Like, I'm so obsessed with hats. So. She created specially for me a hat, which is in colors I love, with this that I love, and it says, dun, 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 dun. can you see? It says best boss. I honestly don't know how she thought of this, but this is amazing. I also received a video from Nina and Christina, uh, who made me a website, and who created this video with all of the happy birthdays from the people that I love the most. So from Italy, France, Germany, Serbia, like everywhere, from my family, from my friends. It's just for me something that I think I will get to keep forever and I wanted to share it with you but then I found it so intimate because a lot of these people wish me some things that like I don't really share with the world and I find it like so meaningful, so beautiful and something I'll keep forever. I cannot wait to look at that birthday message next year. I also received the beautiful, I actually want to wear this today. Oh wow, it goes so well with this TV blazer, guys. This beautiful Gucci scarf with the floral print. It's actually my favorite uh, Gucci print ever. I love it so much and I find it so, so, so pretty. When we sat at the table, at the dining table, um, I found this under my plate and I looked at my friend. I was like, this, this, why, do I, why am I the only person that has this? And it says, happy birthday. And when you open it, it says, Ciao amore. There is only one place where I want to celebrate you. Mykonos. Love you to the moon and back. P.S. Details coming soon. And it's really, really super related. So, because this person and I go every year together in Mykonos due to like a random, I mean this is such an original idea due to my work I always took him with me to Mykonos and now he's taking me to Mykonos to um, celebrate my birthday so 
yeah, we're gonna be partying very hard in Mykonos and I'm so excited about it. I don't know how he thought of that. Like, my friends are just... I just keep losing focus. It's driving me mad because I'm getting emotional and then I lose the momentum of it, which is annoying. But anyway, I have officially the best friends in the whole entire world. Like, all 30 of them are just, like, yeah. I then received also a very thoughtful gift because my friends were paying attention. My friend got me an organizer, uh, which is very beautiful, like a beautiful made organizer with all the pockets that I haven't kept really organized, she's gonna kill me, that she did so well because this is something I really need because I've been carrying this bag around for pretty much every day now. I love it so much and um, yeah, I, I genuinely, genuinely believe that this is such a brilliant idea to get me something that I really need as much as I need a bag organizer. For my new bag, so fabulous. Obviously received billion balloons and flowers, which always makes me very happy. From my sister. I have to tell you from my sister because no one else would be able to give me that gift. Okay, I don't know if you're ready, guys, but this is the most creative gift my sister has ever given me in two huge baskets. My sister is not a creative type, I am. So in our family, she's the more like rational kind of type and I'm more creative type. And that's where we are different. She gave me a card and these two baskets and she told me, open it. Now I'm gonna read you a little part of it, but it's, I think it, this video would be three hours long if I show you every little thing. However, if you do want to see every little thing, it might help you to get to know me better. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see super detailed what I got from my sister for my birthday. But anyway, I'll read you a part of it. I'm not a creative mind. I'm someone who likes to learn and put things in practice, but sometimes struggle with creativity. I have never been creative type. I never did well in school and arts and was never very interested in it. To every Ming, there's a Jung, and you are definitely mine. Almost everything I'm good at, you struggle with, and everything you're good at, I'm rubbish with. And I would not change it for the world. However, I find that you even inspire my creativity. You turn my weakness into strengths and make me see things from a different angle. Who would think I would be able to think of this birthday presents? So unlike me. Now, I cry so much while I was reading this card. Maybe we were just very good at realizing each other's potential, as well as weaknesses, or maybe it was just a coincidence. I am grateful every day of my life for having you as my sister. This basket was created to celebrate the last 30 years, celebrate 30 years of Tamara, 30 years of world's best sister, friend, leader, coach, and now I can proudly say it my role model. 30 presents for 30 years and explanation is as follows. Years 1, 2, and 3, there are no presents for as it is not documented you actually existed. So my parents never took pictures of me in the first three years of my life. But it was difficult three years of my life. Were you born as a four-year-old or was it that parents knew how many pictures will be taken in life of you so they could not be bothered? I think it was just that you were not very photogenic and could not smile, not as pre pretty baby as their firstborn, my sister. And then it goes, open present with sticker one. It's a Barbie. I had a very, very similar Barbie doll to this one. I don't know if you can see it. It was very unique back in Yugoslavia. In 1993, you turned four, and to celebrate that birthday once again, I provide you Barbie the very same one that got injured in your early years. I hope you now forgive relevant parties. So in the fight, my Barbie got like lost her head. It was a fight between my aunt and my cousin and the Barbie died. And I couldn't, I, I was so sad about losing that Barbie. So my sister replaced it. Open present with sticker two. In 1994, you turned five, and to celebrate your fifth birthday, I am preparing you for future and gifting you a neck collar. It will prove useful in months to come. Now, I was running around at kindergarten, and I turned my head, and my neck completely got stiff, and I couldn't turn my head anymore. So I had to go to the doctor, and I was wearing this one for like a pretty long time. Open present with sticker three. Okay, so you're six already, and to celebrate that, I present you with Benetton hoodie. You will find that saying on top will prove useful later on in your career. In addition, I feel that no explanation is required for Benetton top at the age of six. Did you own any other clothing? 
So I loved the Benetton hoodies when I was six, and my six sister bought me one now, which says, follow me. Open present with sticker four. <laughs> You're seven and full of beans. My very clever but sometimes forgetful sister. To relive the time of our lives, I have gifted you with Radni List, which is Matt's workbook. I was going to ensure that it's all filled in for you, but then realized the tables have spun. Maybe you could fill this one with Stefan. And then I cried so much. So, when I was seven, six actually, I started school at seven, I was already like fully in school. And I would always forget to do my homework, so I would wake my sister up at 5 a.m. every single day, like every single day, to ask her to fill these in for me at 5 a.m. Can you imagine every single night? And I'd be like, please, 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 I need your help, and she would always do it for me. She hated it. And then at one point, she filled in the whole book so that I never have to wake her up again to do my homework. So. Now she's gifted that to me. And anyway, there's like 30 gifts. They're all very emotional. Like uh, Oasis album, like Kinder Surprise. Like at I think age of 14, I owned no eyebrows, but she gifted me tweezers because she said that, you know, in case I wanted to tease some more. So anyway, it's like a very, very, very thoughtful gift. I cried, like you cannot even imagine how much um, when I opened it and for as a gift 30 this is what like there was a gift 30 and inside was this absolutely spectacular love ring which is like a double Cartier love ring with diamonds can you see yellow and white gold if you remember I did that was it 30 questions video in London my sister called me on FaceTime and she was like yeah, what would you like for your birthday Oh, let me think, uh, a Cartier ring. So this is what I got for my 30th birthday. Honestly, one of the most beautiful rings I have ever received in my life. And it represents my sister and me because we are so different. So there's like white gold and yellow gold and diamonds. And we're just so different, but together we make a whole and we complement each other so much. So yes. I also received one present that I wasn't sure if I actually wanted to share with you because it's very, very, very precious and um, it felt like I don't know if I actually um, should share it because it's a little bit, not a little bit, but it's too expensive. But anyway, long story short, I also received, I'm ready for this, I received a watch that I have actually always wanted. And it is a Rolex Daytona watch with a dark mother of pearl dial. And it's actually a very, very rare watch. Where this watch was bought, they receive only one a year. So it was like so hard to get hold of and so difficult to actually get it, which is why um, it was, because it's like one a year. Um, it's kind of like my 30th birthday present and I think it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. I also have one more present to show. It's here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a painting. There are my eyes in this painting. There's an Eiffel Tower, like London phone uh, box. This is Navi Sad, my hometown. I think this is, okay, so this is Paris. This is Hawaii. There's Rome. Oh no, this is not Hawaii. This is Arizona. This is New York, Venice. There's so much in here. This is the, uh, Taj Mahal. It's basically like world through my eyes. I really, really love this as I think it's very, very symbolic and it's very much made for me. So for that reason, I really appreciate it and I'm very grateful for it. And that is basically, I think it, I'm sure there were more things, but I have already packed and I might have forgotten to show you some stuff. Of course I forgot something and I only realized that because I just finished packing and I found the boxes of the gifts that I forgot like I received so much and the whole weekend's been such a whirlwind that I actually like forgot to first of all list everything because I need to send thank you cards to all these people so I'm gonna do that this week but anyway that being said I forgot one of the most incredible gifts that I got which is a diamond um, it is basically a diamond for my friend and it says to the brightest star in the sky 
and I received like a set of underwear. I received so many chocolates, so many cards, so many flowers, which I will show you now. These are the flowers, the balloons. My room smells like a flower shop and this is one of the biggest bouquets that I have ever received in my life. Like I don't have a vase for it, but they're all so beautiful also stunning and I mean they've been sitting here for now like days but I hope no one gets angry that I forgot to mention theirs. I'm really grateful like I had the best time at my birthday. Cannot even tell you how happy um, seeing all the people that I love smile made me, how grateful, how how much like energy it gave me to go forward because people really really went all out with their positive energy and it's something that I'm very grateful for. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't seem braggy in any way because that was not the intention to it. I just wanted you guys as well to get to know me a little bit better. I cried so much over the weekend, like happy tears. And you know what? People told me that 30 really hurts and that it's so hard turning 30, but let me tell you it's a complete lie. I love being 30 because I have so much life experience now and for me at this point there's nothing I would do differently. So really really grateful, really happy for people who have always always stood there by my side. I wanted to have a party for 30 people who have always been there for me, who have always been honest to me, who have always like like always been like truthful, reliable, supportive, people who I can call in the middle of the night and count on. I didn't want to have people that I cannot count on in my life. I didn't want to have people there that have bailed on me a million times in my life. I didn't want to have people there that don't make me feel happy or that don't celebrate me as a person, you know? Like, it was very, very small group of people but a group of people that I will forever be grateful for. So, that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, like I said, I hope it didn't seem braggy. I really appreciate everything. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.